I have definitely changed shape as I've got older and this winter I've decided that there's no point even thinking I'm ever going to fit into even a size 12 anymore. I don't think I'm definitely a size 14 now and that's okay and I'm going to embrace it. So I waited for the sales to happen so that I could revamp my all my trousers. So I've literally got trousers that are a 10 which I literally haven't, I think I've worn for about five years. So um, I've gone from, from a 10 to a 14 in the last five years. And so I went online to the jigsaw set sale and bought some size 14 trousers. And so I'm going to try them on for you now. And I might have snuck in a, a top and a dress, but we'll see about that. So now I'm going to try the first outfit on. And the first outfit is going to be some, um, this, this is herringbone. It's like a little mini check. I think it's a herringbone. So it's trousers. Put my glasses on. Micro check cigarette trousers, monochrome it says. And these were originally £98 and I got them for 49 And they're quite, they're like a um, warm material, which is quite nice too. And so then I bought a top to wear with the trousers. Because also, believe it or not, my top half got bigger. And this was £79 and I got it for 29 and that's a really nice sort of silky she type blouse with pleats along the back. So I'm going to try those both on now. So this is the first outfit with the, with the lovely long sleeves, some really interesting looking cuff, covered buttons. It's really well finished. And I've tucked it into the front of the trousers, which fit really well. They've got a flat front. As I said, they're this lovely kind of warm. I don't know what the fabric is, but it's super warm. It's nice and cosy. Nice pockets, they fit really nicely, they kind of sit on the hips a little bit. And they, they've got it's got those lovely pleats in the back of the blouse, which I really like, and it's great, so I'm definitely keeping this outfit. Um, the next outfit I'm going to try on is going to be the dress. No, it's not the dress, it's another pair of trousers. And these look absolutely like a sack of potatoes just sitting there. So I'm not sure they're going to be very flattering. But they, they look comfy. They've got a velvet waistband that's sort of stretchy and then a velvet stripe down the side of the trousers. And these were £120 and they're 84 now. So that's not cheap. So I have to like them. But a really comfy pair of evening trousers goes a long way. So I'm going to try those on now. Okay, so this is the um, velvet trim trousers, which I thought would look horrendous, but actually I'm really, really happy with them. And again, they, they, they fit really well, they're very comfy, they've got a nice stretch, so they could, again, eat for England. Um, but equally, what's interesting is that my blouse is going with everything. I don't think there's one thing it hasn't gone with, except the dress. But um, so this is a real versatile blouse. Um, big pockets. Nothing much more to say, I've got this interesting bit of velvet down the side, sort of a loose fit, perfect. A good pair of evening trousers goes a long way, as I said, and I'm, um, I'm happy to get a comfy pair. So I'm going to keep these, what's left, is that all? Um, so the next thing I looked at, because I was looking at trousers, as I said, because I've outgrown most of my trousers, so these ones are Diamond Jacquard Cigarette Trousers. Um, in black with a little diamond that's in sort of grey and they were £98 and I got them for £39 and um, these look quite nice, they've got little back pockets on it, it's interesting I'm just looking at this, it's a European size 42, well I've been a 42 for years so that can't be right but anyway there we go so I'm going to try those ones on next the cigarette trousers and um, yeah I think these are great they're very comfy I'm obviously a size 14 it jigsaw because they're just the right size got a bit of stretch in them um, flat fronted again you know easy to wear so yes I'm gonna get these too yeah, excellent so these are the um, so other pair of cigarette trousers, a little bit shorter at the bottom. They're um, very comfy again, they're sort of flat fronted, the same style as the other ones basically. So they're again a size 14 and that must be my size in um, 
jigsaw on. So they fit nice, I tuck the shirt in, but again, you could wear the shirt out, you could wear it with a jumper, whatever you like. So what's next? The next thing I got was a dress. I don't buy many dresses. It's kind of just simple, plain black sort of shift dress with an interesting sleeve. Um, and I think I got it because it was, it was £120 reduced to £60. Pleat cuff dress, it says. So I'm going to try that on. See what it looks like. So this is the dress I bought. And I'm loving it because I've also double checked the price. I actually paid £36 for it. So that's an even better bargain. Um, it's very loose, nice. It's, it's sitting on the hips. It's not clinging anywhere, making me look, you know, show me nickel line or anything. It's, um, I could eat as much as I wanted. It wouldn't make any difference. It's got lovely sort of double cuff features on it. And I personally would keep it simple if I, when I wore it. I maybe style it with some, just something simple like some uh, pearls or maybe a chunky choker necklace. Um, but basically, what's not to love for 36 pounds? Okay, got a skirt. I'm not sure about. So I'm gonna try that on next. Oh, how much was that? That was. doesn't have the reduced price written on me. That's weird, because it definitely was. Um, originally it was £89, but it certainly wasn't £89. So I'm going to get the receipt in a minute and see what I spent. I can try it on my first. And this is the skirt. I'm really not liking this at all. It kind of, I've got quite wide hips, so I have trouble with skirts and then sort of skinny little knees. And so, so skirts kind of sit often and like that. I don't like it. Uh, maybe it's also my large bottom, but I don't know. Definitely not buying this. So what's next? Oh, my last item. Which, um, sorry, I'll sit down. My last item, which is definitely going back, I know, because I tried it on. And although this is also a size 14, and it's kind of a wild pattern, which I wasn't sure about, too small. So I don't really understand how it's kind of do the button up. So... Moral of that story is, don't give up if one size doesn't fit you in a shop and you think you're that size, try another, another cut because randomly it's the wrong size. So that's going to go back. So that was my jigsaw sale haul. Um, I'm now all set, I'm going to clear out my wardrobe, get rid of all the 10s and 12s, possibly give them to my daughters, if not get them out of the house so I don't have to try and squeeze myself into them ever again and get depressed. Because there's nothing wrong with the shape I am and um, I'm a size 14. Proud to be.